Hi, second grade. Guess what time it is? Time for you to take a brain break and do a brain quest questions. Are we ready? For your language arts question today, what word goes in front of house to name a tower that sends signals to sailors? So if we have the word house, I'll even write it in cursive. What word can come in front of house to make a name for a tower that sends signals to sailors? Are you ready for your answer? Lighthouse. A lighthouse is a tower with a light that gives signals to sailors. Those are people who sail on a boat. Question number two, math. If gum costs 40 cents and the candy costs 90 cents, how much money do you need? Well, let's count our money here. If we have a word problem, let's come up with our plan. They're asking us how much money do we need all together? So are we adding or subtracting? Adding, good. So, 40 cents. Let's use some nickels to count 40 cents. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat, you're worth five. I know that. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40 cents. And it said the candy costs 90 cents. What is a coin that's worth a lot? Quarter, quarter, big and bold, you're worth 25, I am told. So let's count up 25. And another quarter would make, that's right, 50. Now let's do dimes. Dime, dime, little bit there. I remember your worth. 10. So 50, now counting up groups of 10. 60, 70, 80, 90. Two quarters, four dimes. Let's add. If you have pencil and paper, you can do this on your own and I will give you a second. Ready? Okay, ready? Zero and zero make zero. Nine and four, nine count up four more is 13. Oh no, can we have 130 cents? Mm, looks like 100 cents is a dollar, so we need to put our decimal point in. There's always two numbers between the decimal point and the dollar. So how much does the candy cost? If you came up with $1.30, you are Correct. <clears throat> Moving on. Social studies. Was the Declaration of Independence written by George Washington or Thomas Jefferson? 
Remember, we talked about our founding fathers who wrote the Declaration of Independence. I'll give you no cheating looking it up and Googling it. And juvenile mommy can eat it. Yeah, okay. Hey, and juvenile mommy can eat it. Ready for your answer. So who was the who was the Declaration of Independence written by? Thomas Jefferson. Fun fact, he also became our third president. Next question, a language arts question. Here we go. What word does not rhyme with cake? So your word is cake. Which word does not rhyme with cake? Ready? The word that does not rhyme. Are you ready? Leak. Leak does not rhyme with cake. They have to have the same ending sound. Cake and break. Yes, that rhymes. But cake and leak do not. Next question. Another math. Increase the tens column in 473 by two, two groups of 10. And what is our new number? So if I have four hundreds, let's count that up. Are we ready? 100. 200. 300. 400, 400, oh, look. It's not 70, good. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then I have three units or one. One, two, three. Let me write the number down. Four hundred seventy three. If we increase, here's our hundreds. Ooh, here's our tens. Here's our ones. I can already hear some of you laughing at that H. You I'm writing it. upside down. Take you it easy on me, it. okay? You open it. So 473. If you increase the tens by two, what number do you come up with? You can't see it, but Gabe is dancing every time I play that music. The new number you would get, what is seven plus two? Nine, 493 is your answer. Okay, science question. Is a popsicle a solid? a liquid, or a gas?
Is a popsicle a solid, liquid, or a gas? Well, let's break this down. Let's look for our strategies of what we know is not right. So I know a gas is something that you can't hold in your hand, right? It's like almost like an air, okay? Like steam or the helium that you fill into a balloon. So we know gas is definitely not it. Liquid. Well, when I put it in my mouth, it is sort of wet. So is it a liquid? Hmm. A liquid is fluid. It's moving. Water is liquid. Is a popsicle liquid? No, it's hard, right? You can hold it. It is a solid. Water is one of the elements that can be all three of these. Water can be a solid when it's frozen. It could be a liquid, obviously, when it's coming out of your faucet or filling your bathtub or a water balloon. But it can also be a gas because when we boil water for a long time, what starts to form? those bubbles, and what do you see above it? Steam, that is the water coming off as a gas form. So a popsicle is mostly made with water. It has the sugar and the color and the flavoring, but it's water in the frozen form, so it is a solid. Hope you're doing good so far. Next question on your brain quest, last one. Ready? Miscellaneous category means it could be anything. Which holiday do we celebrate in February? Is it President's Day or Columbus Day? We just had the month February before March, so you should be able to do this. February, is it Columbus Day or President's Day? No cheating and Googling. Ready? The answer is President's Day. It is the third Monday in February. And we did have off for President's Day last month, if you recall. So, second grade, that was your Brain Quest Brain Break, brought to you by Mrs. Writing. Hopefully, you had some fun with this. Tomorrow, we will have three new videos uploaded, and we will be working in your binder that you got last Friday, the flexible instruction day packet binder. We will be doing day one packet. When you come onto my YouTube channel, I want you to have that binder ready to go because I'm going to do a morning meeting and teach you with the binder. We're going to do it together. Okay. So make sure you have your binder tomorrow, your pencil ready, and I will upload the videos in the morning. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Don't forget to check on Facebook and Parent Square for Mr. Gilger's post about story time. I don't know who he's going to pick to read the story. Bye. Be good.